everyone. So today I want to talk to you about humidity here and what causes it and how we can fix it. So it's summertime, it's in the Midwest. This area is just dominant with humidity almost all summer long. So you're not surprised when most of my clients can always complain about humidity at this time of year. So let's talk about it and figure out a way to fix that hair challenge that you're most likely experiencing because doesn't really matter what type of texture of hair you have, whether it's thick or thin or curly or straight, you are most likely going to be affected by the humidity in the summer months here in Illinois. So let's start with why humidity hair happens in the first place. So with humidity, as soon as you walk outside, basically it's just moisture in the air, just little hydrogen or little water molecules, and it gets in the way with um, the hydrogen bonds get in the way with the proteins in the hair and it causes the hair to puff out, frizz, and um, if you straightened it, it becomes back to your natural texture of curl. So it's very, very important that when you do blow dry your hair, no matter what product you use, even if you don't use the Moroccan oil or the Amica, to dry the hair 100% and cool the hair. So if the hair isn't completely dry and you go outside and there's even more moisture in the hair, it's only just going to make the hair frizz up even more. So what I would recommend you to do is blow dry your hair 100% dry, like make sure it's completely dry and let it cool completely before going outside. So if there's any moisture left in the air, your hair is immediately just going to go poof up in there. So to prevent that from happening, Give yourself a little time in the morning to blow dry the hair and let it cool down before going outside. So that's the first rule of thumb is always make sure it's completely dry to fight the moisture in the air when you're going out on a, on a humidity day. So as you can see, I have some products behind me and I'm going to go ahead and give you a demo on why these products I feel are great and why I would use them. So I thought it would be fun to do a little side by side. So I'm going to put some Moroccan oil on this side. I'm going to put some Amica on this side and then I'm going to explain to you the science behind our wonderful Color Wow Dream Coat and why everybody needs to have that particular product. All right guys, let's have some fun with some styling products. So I have some smoothing, or I'm sorry, I have some Moroccan oil and I also have some Amica. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of Moroccan oil on my one side and some Amica products on the other and we're gonna put it to the test and see which one is gonna give me better humidity benefits in the long run. So. As they claim, the smoothing lotion from Moroccan oil is extremely lightweight. It has a medium hold. It makes the hair super manageable. It makes it for very quick, easy blowout. And it has a 72-hour humidity blocker in it, which is not very common with a lot of styling products. So to me, this has always been my go-to number one product to fight humidity. And with my hair being fine, I am going to do about a pump and a half of Moroccan oil, especially since I'm only going to put it on the one side. So we're going to have some fun. Okay, so the next stop to have nice hair and to fight that humidity is to apply your heat protect. So this is the perfect defense. It's gonna protect your hair for up to 450 degrees of heat. Um, so I always will spray it on my wet hair to protect it from the blow dryer. And I'm also gonna spray it on my dry hair to protect it from the flat iron. So anytime you are about to use the heat, you always ap apply your heat protect. And this product will also give you some UV protection along with um, humidity protection as well. So if you have more super, super thick curly hair and you want it to be, um, you need something that's gonna crank it up a little bit, which I'm not gonna use because my hair is fine, um, is the blow dry concentrate. Now this is, excuse my language, a badass product. This is a product that people most likely don't use um, because everybody's so afraid of oil weighing the hair down. The oil is what keeps, keeps the hair healthy and hydrated 
while removing the moisture from the hair because we want to remove the moisture to prevent it from frizzing up when we go outside. So you still need that extra hydration in the hair. Um, so this is the, your, your huge um, kick-ass fight that frizz, fight the humidity um, product that you're going to put on after the fact. Okay, so now we are going to move over to the Amica line, which is, again, this is a, another styling balm, so it's equivalent to the smoothing lotion. It is a little bit lighter in the hair. It's going to give the hair some shine and some softness. Whoop. And I, again, and this is a probably about a pump and a half or a squirt, maybe a grape size. Um, and I'm going to put this on the other side. So yeah, this is going to leave your hair really soft, really manageable. Again, it has the humidity protectants in it. And once again, just like everything, you're going to have to, which is, this one's kind of nice because the shield, it actually says anti-humidity spray on the bottle. So it's pretty cut and dry. This is specific for uh, anti-humidity stuff. And it also has a 450 degree um heat protectant as well. And what's another benefit of the Amica that is really nice is that it has UV protectant in it. So keep in mind, just like your skin, your hair color needs to be protected from the sun just as much as your skin and your face. So always look for products that have UV protectant in it. Now Moroccan oil, it's like the styling products that I just showed you, do not have the UV protectant in it. However, they have the Protect and Prevent spray, which has the UV protectant on it, and it makes the hair a little bit more manageable. So I would spray that globally on first if you're gonna stick with the Moroccan oil and then use your styling products to give you the UV protection. With Amika, most of their products have it already in there, so you don't need a separate UV protectant on top of it. So again, back to humidity because that's what our main focus is. Um, you now want to brush it through since we put Moroccan oil on my right or Moroccan oil on my left and Amika on the right. So let's give it a whirl. Um, so let's talk about Color Wow Dream Coat. Okay. So this particular product is something completely different within itself. To me, this isn't an actual styling product. This is what seals the deal. This is what goes over all the products. So it doesn't matter what product you use or if you're using the Color Wow cocktails to style your hair. This is the very, very last product that goes on your hair. And what it does is it basically puts an invisible film over each individual strand of hair to block the moisture from getting in at all. So it's like dream coat it's putting a coat over each strand and blocks it from the moisture from coming in. It is incredible. If you go to YouTube and look up some of their videos, you can literally see the water repel off the hair versus one that is not being treated with the Color Wow Dream Coat. The water just gets absorbed right into the hair. There is no, it repels off. So if you stood out and got your hair wet, you would see the water drip off the hair and not your hair wouldn't even be wet. Incredible, amazing product. So the other thing, because it's invisible waterproof coating over the hair, you're going to get two to three, three to four shampoos before you have to reapply this product again. And keep in mind, all three of these products need to be heavily heat activated, meaning blow dried, smooth, and then flat ironed over the top of it to get the maximum anti-humidity benefits possible. With this particular product, the Dream Coat, you are going to go small sections and you're going to um, absorb it, um, like fully absorb it. So let me, let me explain it. It's a, a little bit easier to do it and explain it at the same time. So you are going to take extremely small sections and spray at the root all the way down, heavily coating each section. And what I like to do is spray the top and then spray the, or spray the top and spray the bottom. You can't really overdo it with this product. You essentially want to make sure that you're getting it covered completely. 
The smaller the sections, the better. I know it seems like I'm spraying a lot, but you do need to make sure that it's coated so that each strand has that invisible waterproof coating on it. Um, so now that I'm heavily saturated with all of the products, we are gonna comb it through. Okay, so it didn't record me doing my blow dry, so we kind of missed that. But you've seen me do a blow dry, we've talked about it before, so um, blow dry, round brush it, and this is what I'm left with. So now I'm gonna go in and flat iron it to make sure that all those products are heat activated and nice and smooth. So you can see um, it's pretty smooth just with the round brush, but see how it bubbles in a little bit because of the round brush? So I'm mostly flat ironing just the ends to give me some more straightness and give it a little bit more bounce in the back. So watch and see. Unfortunately, my blow dry did not record, so I'm really bummed about that. But you did get to see how I flat ironed it and make sure that you uh, reapply your heat protectant on your dry hair. And now the fun part, let's dissect the differences between the Moroccan oil and the Amica Velvety Smoothing Lines. Um, by feel, there's really not much. They're both very, very soft, very, very lightweight. Now you're not gonna feel the dream coat in the hair, so no matter what, that's not a deciding factor because it feels like I have nothing over the hair. Um, but what I do notice that my Moroccan oil side, I feel like has a little bit more volume and it has more oomph to it. I mean, you're talking very, very little because I have to find something that makes them different. But I do feel like the Moroccan oil is a little bit more of a lighter weight feel however the results are very similar when it comes to the touch the feel and the styling i didn't have to work harder with the flat iron on either side it both smoothed out just as equally as fine um but stay posted for my every day so i want to see um amika claims it's a 24-hour humidity protectant and moroccan oil claims a 72-hour humidity protectant so let's see what happens in 24 hours and then what, let's what happens in 72 hours with my hair and how it sustains the humidity because I will be going outside most of my days and um, we'll give it a shot. So stay posted with that. If you have any questions about humidity and how to fight humidity, please ask and I will reach out and give you my best answer. So stay posted next month. We are going to talk about um, clarifying treatments and product buildup on the hair and how to remove chlorine from the hair. So please share and I'll talk to you guys soon.